Hey guys, welcome. Today, we'll be talking about yellow V11 classification on custom data. So for this classification task, we'll be using this data set. You can see this is a collection of dogs and cats. So these are the dogs and if you click here, you can see we have cat images. So we'll be using this data set. Our classes are dog and cat. Now, first, we are importing all required libraries here. Then this is the data path we have here. Then this function is responsible for uh, displaying images randomly. So it is taking random images, random, let's say we want nine number of images. It will take nine number of images randomly and it will display here. So these are from dogs and these are from cat. Now, after that, we are using these functions to create train and validation split. We are using a split ratio of 80 that means 80 will be in training and 20 will be in uh, validation and this function will go through these two folders you can see these two folders and it will create the structure that is required for the yellow 11 classification task so if you want to know more about the data structure you can go here so this should be root directory within that we have train test and val so within 10 test and val we have all classes name uh, that means let's say we have two classes here airplane and automobile so we'll create two folders airplane and automobile and within that we'll place the respective images so the directory is root directory train class names and images so this code these functions they will go through go through the images that, uh, that are available here and they will create the folder structure we have discussed here and you can see so if you go to output it will you can see here yellow data train within train we have class names cat and dog and within that we have images similarly val we have cat and dog and within that we have images so after that after creating the training and validation data we are installing alteratics here after installing alteratics we are uninstalling dowl and v uh, this is because it is creating some issue during training uh, that's why i'm uninstalling here after that here we are downloading the pretend weights so this is nano model for classification task if you want other models you can go to this link so here it can it can go for a uh, small model medium model large model or extra large model so after that here we are initiating the model or we are loading the model here you can see then here this is our training command so here this is the yellow data we have we have seen earlier we are training for 50 number of epochs msi is 480 project is this training backup so this folder will be created and within that this cat v dog folder will be created and within this folder all the files that will be generated during training will be saved so if you go here you can see training backup within training backup we have cat v dog folder and within that we have all the files that are generated big, uh, during training and within weights folder we have our best weight and last weight let's go back to our notebook so when so this is our training command you can see here there are a lot of different parameters available for training if you want to learn about this parameter you can go to this link if you want to change any parameter value please understand the description and understand what the parameter does during training and then you can put your custom value uh, for a particular parameter so when you run this command you will get logs like this you can see there are a lot of warnings uh, so there are, there are some issues with our data here and uh, alteratics is trying to handle those those issues then after that you can see training will be started and the training log will be uh, will be looking like this so after the training you can see it has gone for 50 number of epochs after the training if you want to see the uh, images or files generated 
uh, you can use this function and these things will be plotted here now after that this is responsible for image inferencing you can see we'll give a image directory or image folder then we'll give the model path then total number of images will be 20 that means this function will randomly select 20 number of images from this folder and then it will do the prediction and after prediction it will do the plotting also so here we are we are like listing all the image name in that particular directory then here we are randomly sampling the number of images that we need here and then we are doing the prediction here so if you run this function you can see we will have this kind of uh, plotting so this is a cat you can see the value here cat equal to 1 dog equal to 0 so the model is 100% confident that this is uh, this is a cat similarly all those things you can see here now if you do the same thing for dogs you can see we have results like this so guys i hope you understood how to train a low event classification model on a custom data set please like subscribe and share i'll see you in the next video till then take care